Today we're going to check out some cheap tech products that I found at the dollar store. Uh, so the first one we have here is this pair of $4 Vortex headsets. Um, so I saw this just hanging on one of the shelves, so let's just open this up right here. Um, they look like nice headsets on the box, but the actual box itself is really light, so I don't really trust the actual quality. Um, just open these up real quick here. Oh, they're taped everywhere. Ugh, there we go. And yeah, these actually look like relatively nice headsets. Um, so the first thing I'm going to say is these are probably over ears. So they are uh, they have really small ear cups. Um, they have a nice, oh, they have a gray rubber cable here. I got the white color, they, they do come in other colors. And this is definitely a $4 headset. It looks nice, but it feels cheap as hell. Um, this is got a really bad sliding mechanism. It's got rough plastic on the edges. Um, it's already scratched up if you... Yeah, well... Yeah, it's really scratched up already. Um, so that's a bit unfortunate, but I mean, what can you really expect from $4 headsets, right? Um, so yeah, so just, that's a physical overview. I'll test the sound later, but just pass me the other cheap product that we found at the dollar store. These are some Mood Lab earbuds. Now these ones look like they're packaged a little bit better than the uh, Vortex headphones there. So, uh, I'm just gonna open this up here. All right, let me just open this box. Yeah, so these, uh, these come with a nice flat cable. They come with two extra replaceable earbuds, which is, or ear tips, which is nice. Uh, that means it doesn't fit you. You can always try a different size of ear tips. And they seem to have a really cheap cable right off the bat. Um, they have inline controls. And yeah, so these are the actual headphones themselves. Uh, they're just normal earbuds. They have a singular inline control. The earbuds themselves are made out of plastic, like a shiny plastic, but they do look nice. Uh, I'll just test the fit real quick. So they fit decently. Uh, when I'm talking right now, I can't really hear too much noise. So yeah, I'll go test these out, uh, listen to them a little bit, and I'll come back with a bit of a first impression on how good these $4 headphones actually are. Uh, so first I'm going to go over the Vortex headset. So this headset right here. Um, so the first thing that I noticed when I plug these in is that the audio quality is actually pretty decent. Um, like, you can hear music. The only thing that I don't like about these is A, the build quality is really cheap. Um, so everything on here is made out of plastic. The headband does feel relatively nice, and it's sort of loose, and it's adjustable, um, so it is sort of comfortable on your head, but the ear pads are a bit uncomfortable. The entire build is made out of plastic, and it just feels really cheap. Uh, the next thing I noticed is the sound quality. It does sound decent. Um, it does sound like you're listening to music, but when you hear anything with vocals in it, the vocals get a little bit muddy, um, but not as bad as the earbuds, but they still do get muddied. Overall though, I feel like this one has the better audio quality out of both of them. There is one huge issue with my uh, version of this headset that I bought, and that's the headphone jack. So when I first plugged it in, I was like, oh yeah, this music is good. And then I went to like adjust the headphone jack a little bit, and it like, it went crazy. So it's like, I think this headphone jack might be broken, but it was switching the audio from the right channel to the left channel, it was crackling up. So if you're gonna buy this headset, you wanna be really careful with the headphone jack. I wouldn't recommend it because it isn't consistent. Um, and it is just really, really cheap build quality. But I guess that is what I expected from spending $4 on a headset like this. But the audio quality is surprisingly decent. Um, now if we go on to the headphones here. I believe they're called the Mood Lab earbuds. Uh, these ones have a bit of a better build quality. Uh, they have this nice flat ribbon cable. It does still feel sort of cheap. It doesn't feel very high quality. It's not like a soft plastic rubber. It's like a very... Uh, like cheap plastic. The headphone jack works, it's fine. Um, so this one is a lot more consistent, but it's also a lot more consistently poor. The treble is really, really muddy in this one and the bass is also sort of not great. Um, like when you listen to it, it's just horrible. Like don't try to listen to anything with vocals in it or anything with any high treble. These ones are consistent for the price. So for four bucks, if you just want something to listen to, they're fine, but if you wanted a pair of headphones that you could like enjoy. Four dollars is not going to do you very well. These headphones look nice, but they sound sort of garbage. 
Um, so yeah, so I really I don't know what I expected I can get for four bucks, but I am sort of surprised by the Vortex headset. This one did surprise me with its sound quality, but the cable itself was just unfortunate. Um, yeah, so I won't even go over physical aesthetic. It's just really not worth it. If you guys are gonna go for headset, don't spend four bucks on it. Spend a little bit more money. Well, I guess the main thing to take away from this video is that don't buy cheap stuff. Don't try to cheap out on that, you know, oh, I went to the dollar store and those headphones look nice and they're really cheap. Don't buy it. It's really not worth it. If you guys are gonna get headsets, spend at least 20 or 30 dollars. Try to get something nice, something that's comfortable, something that will last, because it's been one day. I doubt these headsets are gonna last me very long at all. Um, so yeah, if you guys do wanna get something, just even if you don't have that much money to spend, spend a little bit extra. Don't go with the super cheap route, because overall they're just not that great. Anyways guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a like. If you hated it, give it a dislike. If you want to see more tech content like this, we have a lot more on our channel. Hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. I'm Meshalon, out.